Online dating has exploded in recent years to varying degrees of success. And that's, that's what happened to Chris McKinley. He had an OkCupid okay account and he had many, many unsuccessful dates until he decided, you know what, I'm going to make my own algorithm and find my own mate myself. And you know what? He was successful. He found his fiance on OkCupid okay using his own separate algorithms. I think that would make for a great Chrome plugin, personally, for most people out there doing the online dating thing. Uh, that's impressive to me, and you know, it, to me, I think some of it might be just the fact that he took the initiative to do so, to like take the fate into his own hands and even fine tune this service that is designed to make it easier, even more easier. And honestly, if, if a person I was on a date with told me that they went to that length to to make find the most the most mathematically perfect person, and I happen to be at the end of that. I think that's sexy. Well, I'm actually, like, well. she did have a quote, which was, I thought it was dark and cynical. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I want to be friends with this girl. Seriously. So Chris McKinley, he's a, he's a mathematician. So if anyone tell, ever tells you, you won't use this in your everyday life, you're wrong. He found the love of his life this way. And the two of them are going to be the best supervillain pair you've ever <laughs> oh seen. Oh my gosh, math supervillain. Oh, it's going to be great. So what, they, what he did is he set up six OkCupid okay profiles, and he gathered uh, data on 20,000 women. And then he separated those women into seven distinct groups, and then, you know, statistically analyzed them, and was able to fi fi find two groups that were conducive to his personality, and that's how he narrowed it down. I mean, that's what math geeks do. Yeah. They work smarter, not harder. He found a better way to do it. Like, you know, farming or grinding in a video game, you make bots to do it for you, that does it faster. He made six dating bots to go through all this rigmarole and to sort out all these women. Now, uh, do you say that's unethical because these women were matched with bots instead of him? Maybe, I mean, the, the ends justify the means, I think. But. I don't think it's unethical. I mean, if you've ever been on one of these sites, you, you're engaged, you don't know. It sucks, it I fucking sucks. You run into all of these people who you're, you're in no way interested in, at, even then, and then you run into people you think you might be interested in, and then you meet them, and they're crazy. So it's just, is it any worse than that? I say no. I like it. I liked it, like she <laughs> says. <laughs> no, it, it's. I think. I think it's a. I don't think it's unethical at all because all it does is it's another means of him getting to the point faster without having to deal with all those bad circumstances. Now, for the people that do go to OKCupid okay and do have to have all these terrible dates, I can see them being frustrated. Like that's not fair. You haven't you haven't paid your dues by all of a sudden having you know a Jeffrey Dahmer come pick you up like you know like like that. Pay your dues. Yeah, you know I'm just saying like some people who have to go through these horrible circumstances might feel like this is cheating. No. But you know what? Gold farming yourself a fiance. I'm totally cool with that. If you want to go ahead and, and it works out for you in the end, fantastic. I mean, some people might get lucky and meet their perfect person on the first date. Does that make that unethical? No. This person just found a way to get to that first perfect date sooner. So. Does that take the romance? Out of romance? I think online dating takes a bit of the romance out of it, period. <laughs> but but only just a little, because at the same time, in, a, in the way the society is built as it is now, the way that social media is, the way that the, the most inner city uh, and, 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 and uh, city-based societies are, everything's so fast and everything's so quick and, and working hard and, uh, and you never really have a chance to slow down and, and have time to date as you used to be able to. I think this is a great tool. So um, I just think you just use the tool in the most efficient way possible. Makes me wonder that if he could use algorithms and you know computer software and statistics to find his perfect match, why doesn't the site already do that for you? He's better than the site. Okay, well let's use what he did for all dating sites and I make think everything I would, much faster. He should definitely try to start his own site or his own service because I think people would pay for that. It, I would pay for that. It also helped a lot, I think, that he is smart and sort of good looking. He's pretty good looking. I mean, he found his match relatively quickly because he's smart and it didn't hurt that he was attractive. So, right. Well, he just needs to go ahead and announce in the next couple of weeks his new company, HyperCupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> Better than OK yeah. Cupid. It uses the Amazon <laughs> algorithm, it matches you up before you even sign up. Exactly. There's a whole warehouse <laughs> yeah. of shelves with just like mates on the sides there. They just ship them to you real fast on a little portable. Uh, all right, Great. I wasn't Super frightened easy. before, but I am now. <laughs> this is the future of dating, come <laughs> on. <laughs> that makes me think of like, like uh, imprinting personalities on bots. You're making me think too far ahead. But let's, I like this, this m putting math into the equation of dating. What do you think of this? And is it, is it creepy or is it wonderful? Let us know and please be sure to subscribe.